Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a group folder, shared folder for your special topic group project. And you should have already created one shared folder with me, but now you're going to share it with your um, the people in your group. So I'm on the special topic group project page on our website. And right here under the first one, we're going to create a shared group folder. So I, and only one person needs to do this in your group. Um, and so just designate that person and then um, they can do that. So we're going to go over to our Google Drive and you won't have all of this stuff, but it's going to look the same for you. Yours might be empty, but um, go over here to new and go to folder, first one down, and you're going to do the code similar to what you did before for your own shared folder. We're going to do it with the group. So you're going to do 2015 fall space hyphen space SHCC uh, for school home community collaboration and then special topic group project number and then if you can't remember which number you're you are in your group I have it right here number from the sign up list and so by the time you figure you do this your groups will already be formed and so you'll just find the group number right here it just helps me to keep them all um, organized so I'll put um, group eight since we don't have a group eight and we're going to do create and then on this folder, you see how I have it highlighted just by clicking on it once, just highlight it. And then you're going to go up here to share and we're going to do get shareable link. And that actually shares it for anybody to view, but you actually want to invite your group members to edit. So we're going to go back over here to the special topic group project and, um, you need to have um, the Google accounts of your group members. And so um, actually I should have that right here. So I'll put it up there later. Um, but when you create this folder, you'll be able to um, go to a link right here and then invite the different people. So let's say I'm going to share this folder with Dr. Bryant. She uses Dr. right there. And I've done that lots of times before with her. So um, she pops right up. Um, so she can edit. There are different options, only view or can edit. You want all of your group members to be able to edit the folder that you um, create. Okay, and I will be added to this as well. So you can do jfox at SBU right there I am and that will um, allow me to edit as well. And so you could send them a little note with the sharing. You can say, um, this is our shared group folder. And to Dr. Brian, this will go in an email to her. So I'm gonna say, just kidding, doing a test, disregard. Okay, so that will go to her. Now you'll notice it shows up right here with a little uh, person on the folder. And so that says um, that it's shared. So now if you click, double click into it, it's empty right here. So what I'm going to do, let's go back over here. So the very first thing that you're going to do is make a copy of this scoring guide. So click on that. And then this is going to be for your group. So you're going to go up here to file make a copy and then go to um, this. You can delete that. It always says copy of when you copy something. So what I want you to do is go down here to, um, I'm sorry, let's go back up here and let's do STGP and then the number and then whatever your group number was. Okay. Um, and we'll leave the rest of that the same. So here's the thing about when you make a um, copy of a document, it does not put it in the folder 
where the original document is kept, which I don't understand why, but that's how it is. So what you need to do is go up here to this little folder beside your title of your document, click on that, and then it is going to let you organize where you want to move it to. Okay, so it says item is currently in my drive, which is your overall umbrella, and I want it to go to this one that I just created. So as long as you highlight that and then click move, now it's going to magically move it there. So when I go back over here and I go back to my folder and I click on that and there it shows up right there. Okay. So when you click into that, what you need to do right now is fill in all this top information. Okay. So you'll put all the names, you'll put the group number, you'll put your topic, you'll put your due date, you'll put even the folder URL. Okay, so if I go back to my folder, if I just click on it and I go right here, get link, this is the link to the whole folder. So I'm going to click on that and I can copy that, control C to copy, go back over here to my scoring guide and put my folder URL right there. And you can do a space and it will actually do the link. Did you see that? If you don't do a space, it'll leave it unlinked, which is very odd to me but that's how you do that. Okay, so another thing about the um, folder is that now that it's shared with all your group members, anything that you put in this folder will be shared with all of those group members. So that's really important because if you, let's say you create something outside here in just your drive, and I'm going to say new Google Doc, and it's going to create that. Because I'm not within my folder, it will not share it with everybody. So I actually have to move it into the folder for it to be shared. Okay, I'm just going to delete that. Um, let's see if I need to tell you anything else. Um, in the folder, place all the documents that you have for this folder in, or this project in the shared folder, whether they are something you turn in or not. Um, not the reason I have you do that is because then you can collaborate on all your different documents with all your members. Everybody can actually type on the same documents in the folder. And um, you can also upload pictures if you want to use pictures in Google Drive. Your presentation should go in here. All of the different things that you use should go in here. So that's how you create your shared folder in your scoring guide.